Uh, I don't like this. Why do my friends dare me to do the stupidest stuff? Okay, fine, whatever. It's it's just a haunted house, right? There's nothing bad to it. I just gotta ask for candy, right? That that's all it is. Yeah, that, that is all it's that I don't have to make a big deal of this. We just gotta go inside the the spookiest house in the neighborhood and uh come out alive. Nothing hard there. Oh, I am so worried about this. It's okay though. It's this is normal, right? Um people come to haunted houses all the time, right? That's uh, okay, never mind. Whatever. We'll just quickly go in, go out. It'll be quick. It'll be easy. We don't even have to worry about it. Um Oh. Uh who who's that? Sir Gaston. Uh you have a gun? Um, sir, could you, can you put that down? I don't have any weapons. I, I just have a pumpkin. That's, that's all I have. Uh, I, I was just wondering if you had any, any candy? My friends sort of dared me to come here. Because they, they said this was such a cool house. And they really wanted me to, uh, check it out. Oh, just candy? Upstairs. Upstairs? You mean up the, the ladder? Uh, okay. Sir, I don't I don't really know about this. It kind of seems a bit sketchy, but... Okay, so... Do I have to go up another floor? Oh, it looks really cold up there. Huh. Ah! There, there's a fire! Sir! Sir, the, does he not care? He sees it! But he doesn't care about the fire. Sh sh should I try to put it on myself? There's a Pokemon in there! Uh, sh should I try to save it? It's, it's a Vulpix! Vulpix, I'm gonna save you! Ah, 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 that hurt. That hurt. Um, I don't know how we're gonna get out of here, but Vulpix, I'm here to save you, man. Oh, a visitor! Oh, why visit here? Do you wish to have your soul wandering through this hellish house for the rest of eternity? Uh, not particularly. And, wait, how are you talking? I'm not an actual Pokemon. I'm Vulpix's soul. Vulpix's shadow. Um, so I guess I can communicate that way. We shadow Pokemon are formed when our trainers abuse us somehow. And we can never come back from this state. Really? Oh, well, how did you, um, like, end up the way you currently are? You... you care? Well... okay... I guess it started a couple months ago. My... my trainer found out about this distant region called the Alolan region. A... a region where us Vulpix were... well... white. And uh... he became obsessed with the idea of me changing types and becoming like those other Vulpix. So, he forced me to train in the freezing environment every day in an attempt to get me to look like them. I... I was fed ice cubes for a week every day and I had to sleep outside every night in the snow until one day he told me that he had enough of me and that he never wanted to see me again unless I changed. Heartbroken, I I didn't move from that position until my fur was so covered in snow. It became white. Finally, after having obtained the fur my owner desired, I, I followed him all the way back to a building a couple kilometers away. And I found him with another Vulpix. Uh, a, a golden Vulpix. I tried making sounds to get my owner to hear me, but he never did. I... I died in the cold. And now, here I am. Just a shadow. Huh. Vulpix, you... You changed back, and... My goodness, that was... That was such a sad story. I'm, I'm so sorry. But, um... I'm glad you're back. How, how do you do that? I thought it was irreversible. It 
It must have been because you listened to my story. No one else ever has. Thank you so much. Um, say, the other Pokemon in the manor need some help too. Do you think you could possibly help them out? Maybe you can make them no longer shadows like you did for me. Oh, uh, sure. I guess we we'll probably get going then. Uh, be careful of the fire. So, what's the next stop? Is it... Is it up there? I'd assume so. Oh, my, my goodness, Vulpix, you're on fire. How did, how did you get on fire? You're, you're a Vulpix. Um, oh, there you are. Okay, whew. Dude, I was so worried there. All right, anyways, um, I guess we should probably head upstairs. Uh, there's ice here, so could that indicate there's a Pokemon here as well? Vulpix, you coming, man? Catch up, I can't do this alone. I guess I'll catch up in a bit. What's going on up here? Looks like there's a trail of snow. My goodness, this, this whole landscape is super spooky. How did I even end up here? I don't know. Uh, Vulpix, I, I need your help, man. I'll, I'll I'll push you up, I guess. Maybe that'll help. Alright, whoop, whoop. Huh. Alright, don't don't fall off the stairs, man. That wouldn't be good. Alright, I think you're good. Oh, oh, be careful. Ah. Ah, are, you, are, you are you scared of stairs, man? Oh, maybe you're scared of the cold. Um... It, it's okay. It's it's just fake cold. It's not actual cold. Okay, Vulpix, you, you don't have to worry about it. All right, dude. All right, let's go. Um, I've kind of a feeling it's up here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, jeez, I almost fell off there. All right. Hello there. Huh? What is? Is that a cryogonal? A shadow cryogonal? Whoa, that's pretty spooky. Vulpix, you coming up? All right, I need your backup, man. Oh, you are you stuck there? Let me help you out. Boop. Oh, okay. Well, you, you can stick down there, man. Don't worry about it. But, ah, uh, this thing's spooky. Hey there, Shadow Cryogonal. I'm, I'm here to help you. Huh. And, and Vulpix is down here, too. Yeah, he's right there. He's here to help as well. Why are you interrupting me? I, I'm just trying to help. Help? You know... That's exactly what my ex-trainer said. Your... What, what did your ex-trainer do? Huh. You want a story? Fine. Last Christmas, I was bought at a Pokemon auction by my trainer. She said I was the greatest thing that she'd ever seen. And that she didn't know a Pokemon like me existed. Of course, she was only nine, so she don't, didn't know many Pokemon. But her and I became best friends. We do everything together. It was fantastic. But as time passed, the girl became more and more distracted. And by the time Easter came, there was a new Pokemon the girl really wanted. Eevee. The, the bane of my existence. She no longer wanted me. She wanted that stupid chinchilla Pokemon. And what she wanted, she got. Her parents bought it for her, no questions asked. And Evie was the new star of the house. I was nothing. Worthless. So one day in the middle of the night, I decided to pay a little visit to Evie. Well, what did you do with Evie? I froze Evie to death. Except, it didn't quite go as expected. Instead of dying, the Eevee turned into a bigger, more icy version of itself. Glaceon. And the girl loved it even more. My plan had failed miserably. So, I thought I would eliminate the actual source of my issue. Not something that added to it. Oh, what do you mean? I murdered the girl. And her parents burned me to death when they found out about it. What? You... You're just like the parents, aren't you? You think I'm a monster? Well, the only monster here is you! Uh... So... Cold... You... You tried to kill me! Just like you killed that child! You're... You're a murderer! Vulpix, we need to get out of here. Vulpix! No! 
Why would you do this to me?